Lions TV, we are cutting it by the skin of our teeth. The deal is done. Matija Sarkic is a Millwall player. There he is. Look at him. He looks absolutely tremendous in that kit. And he's already got one up on George Long because he can hold a football. This has been one where I always point to my sources. Richard Cowley. Um, I didn't know that Cowley had discredited this. Before I put the video out, I just got excited when I saw on Patreon that Alan Nixon had gone with it. And Richard Cowley was quick to uh, shut that down last week, saying he'd heard nothing. So it just proves sometimes things can happen without even the main men knowing themselves. And I'm delighted to say that it is a deal done. The six foot four Montenegro international, 26 year old goalkeeper, signs for a fee to be believed around £1.2 million on a long-term contract. I said in my social media post early, young goalkeeper. To me, that is that is a great age for a goalkeeper. He's got years ahead. As we know, goalkeepers can bat on for quite a lot longer than outfield players. And I think it's a really good signing. I feel it's a statement of intent again for the club to maybe not get ahead of the game, but right here, right now, it's just to stick with the, uh, the pack. And of course, it's going to be a strong division this year. What do we know about Sarkic? Well, I've looked a little bit Further into it, he's highly rated, as I said, Montenegro International, but actually born in Grimsby, so there will be no language barrier to conquer. He had successful loan spells at Stoke last season, where he picked up a quad injury in the 5-1 win against Sunderland, and that put pay to his season. The season before, he impressed as well at Birmingham. He actually dislocated his shoulder in that season, so that put him out, and I think he actually had to have surgery on that one, or maybe the quad one last year at Stoke. I'm not too sure, but... The, the fan bases from both clubs have checked it out. The Blues and the Potters, they both loved him as a goalkeeper. I've been saying on Twitter and things like that, if you can keep him fit, you've got one hell of a goalkeeper. I have to give credit as well where it's due to Gary Rowe. I said this earlier on social media as well. He has recognised the problem that we have, which is George Long. Oh, not just George Long, the situation that Rowett potentially has put us in by taking Bart out when he did. We don't think Bart did a lot wrong. As I said, Rowett will see him more during the week than we do, and maybe he just felt that time had sort of come into the end with Bart. But this is the, uh, the, the catch with this. Of course, we now have four goalkeepers, four first-team goalkeepers, contracted to the club, and all very recently. I've covered this already in the Sarkic video I did, saying he might come to the club. I'll link that in at the end if you haven't seen it. At the back end of the last season, Balkowski and George Long were both given new contracts by the club. Since then, Connell Truman's also been given one, although he's never been near the first team. doesn't always even play in the 21s. And now, with Sarkic coming in on a long-term deal, that makes him the fourth in the quartet. So I think, reading between the lines, Rowett obviously signed George Long. Okay, He didn't sign Balkowski. He thinks Bart's passed it, um, but he's given him another one-year contract. And I think he said to him, in my opinion, reading between the lines, look, you be the number two to Long, bleed him in, teach him what you can, and we'll give you another year. I think Bart's happy with that. So I think now Bart will probably see out his contract and his career at the Den. He brought George Long in, and, and, and listen, I liked him at first. I, I said I'd like to see him get an opportunity. He looks great in, in the warm-ups. I know that's not everything, but great kicker with both feet, and I'd like to see him come in and succeed, but I don't want another shit goalkeeper. I don't want to be moaning on this channel about people who are not capable of doing their job, especially when it's a goalkeeper, because it fucking infuriates me, as you may have guessed. But Long wasn't up to it, but for Rowett to have given Long a contract when he did at the back end of last season, that to me says, as, you know, as well as the other two, well, he, he was okay with his performances and he felt that he may need more game time in the championship because Long has never had that really not when he was at Hull either he was the number two there um, that you know a little bit more time maybe he, he could he could uh, work out for him and he could become a strong number one for us at some point between him signing that contract at the back end of the last season and now I know there's obviously been a change of heart from Rowett. Was it the Blackburn game that put the now in Long's coffin? Or even the calamities from last week when he was uh, doing a fantastic Benny Hill impression, running round, falling on his face in the penalty area against Fortuna Seattle. At some point between Long signing that contract and this week, Rowett has gone, you know, do you know what, he isn't right for us. And he's accepted that, Rowett, without actually saying it, he's held his hands up because you wouldn't give a goalkeeper a contract three months ago and then replace him. But... He's done it. I did think it was going to turn into a Jordan Archer 2.0 situation and, and it would, you know, thwart everything 
good that this club has done in the last few years going forward. Harry suffered Archer for I don't know what reason. And it did seem that we once again was going to go down that route with Rowett. He hasn't done that. They've gone out and they've bought a goalkeeper. Let's get back to what it's about. Let's keep it positive. It's about Matijer Sarkic. He's six foot four. He's had great loan spells at Stoke and Birmingham. I say great. He has had his injury worries in there. But we signed him on a permanent deal for £1.2 million, which for us to sign a goalkeeper for that amount, I know it may be small fry in terms of other clubs in the division and football in general, but for us, you know, that's that's, that's a big statement, especially someone as well now that's young, like Mitchell, like Matt Namara, like um, the Bermondsey Burkham, I forgot his actual name then. You know, we've got lots of young players, talented players, and, and a young squad as well, and we're sort of bringing these people in, and I'm really excited to see how he does. I'm sure he will go straight into the starting lineup against Middlesbrough on Saturday. He is eligible to play, and, and it's, it's really big for him. I can't think at any point the club have ever signed a goalkeeper for this amount of money on a long-term deal. So what does this mean for the goalkeepers that we have? I think Bart will be happy to see his contracts out. I think that Long won't be happy, and I think he'll think he should be the first-team goalkeeper. He's obviously had too much coffee. I don't know... If he does think that, he's, he's got too much confidence in his own ability because, you know, he's not up to it. Um, and Truman, I think maybe long will go. Balkowski will see this season out and start getting Truman sort of up to speed to be number two to Sarkic long term. That's the plan that I've worked out in my head. Could be completely wrong, but there you go, I'm going to go with it. But yeah, looking back to Sarkic, he's young, he's fit, and he is a long term signing for the Lions in SC16 for a fee. To be believed, around £1.2 million. I'll make that 500-mile round trip on Saturday now. Slightly more confident. I can't wait to see what the new keeper's got. Imagine he starts George Long. It just pops in my head. No, enough's enough. Sarkic is in, and I'm sure that he's going to be the number one going forward at the club. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.